Göran Malm, internationellt styrelseproffs och alum till Handelshögskolan som arbetat halva sitt yrkesliv i Asien, besökte den 16 december skolan för en föreläsning om vad som händer på den asiatiska marknaden. Ett mycket högaktuellt ämne, inte minst på grund av Volvos stundande försäljning till ett kinesiskt bolag. Göra Malm har erfarenhet genom sitt långsiktiga arbete med i första hand fyra bolag i Asien. Svenska SKF, amerikanska General Electric, Dell och på slutet koreanska Samsung Electronics. In Asia, you have long short decision. It takes long time to decide. There are consensus from the below. Dima Varshi is called consensus. And then if you then implement, it's very short implementation time. In America, a lot of out of box thinking. Asia don't like that. They say life is incremental improvement. Life is incremental improvement. And there is a word I used to, to learn, ipo ipo. It's uh, very simple. It's Japanese, ipo ipo. It's Korean, ipo ipo. And it's Chinese, ipo ipo. Step by step. Everything is step by step. They cannot take jumps. They don't like to take jumps. They like to do everything incremental. And look at Toyota and other companies, how they do it. Enligt Göran Malm är en av de största skillnaderna mellan Europa och Asien synen på ledarskapet. Vi tröttnar på detaljer, vi ser helheten och de älskar detaljer. Hos oss är allt chefens fel, men en asiat framför bara goda, aldrig dåliga nyheter till chefen, menar Göran, bland annat. Second criteria, you have to have localization. You must localize. Management, of course there should be foreigners there, but the leaders should be Chinese, because they are more brutal than we are. I just tried to hint that before. Also, we are too soft. Westerners, when we manage in China, they, they take us for a ride. I can guarantee you. So if you're not Chinese be, uh, people either, you lose. You are too soft, much too soft. You can have Western assistance and so on, supporters, but you have to be local. Okay? So localization. My conclusion is, however, that uh, China is a brick, what we call brick, Brazil, Russia, India, China leader growing into a huge and modern economy. I don't know if those who travel frequently to China, but it's changing so fast, you won't believe it. It's unbelievable. The highway systems and new airports and new high-speed trains and so on, all over the place. India is following you, but behind. Why? Because they have not the same meritocracy and they have accommodated a lot of rules and regulations in India. It's not so easy to move fast. Global companies must be present, however, in both India and China for offensive and defensive reasons. There is no way around it. 